how what to do, what to look up in the law, what to cross cross examine on and so on. At no stage did they raise any personal problem to me at all. But somehow now they have just disappeared. I don't know where they are at all. I have tried to get them, my colleagues have tried to get them on the phone. We are not getting them on the phone at all. Something somewhere is wrong. I do not know what's wrong at all. But I would find it very difficult to prove in view of what I've just told you. Um, I've lived in this country for 80 years. I've been at the bank for slightly more than 50 years. During the regime of Kuzet Omokinyaka, during the regime of Kuzet and Herakoi, during the regime of uh, my party, Ohuru, and so on. I've seen it all during these years, both in Kenya, in Uganda, and Tanzania. Things happen. I don't want to say anything has gone wrong. I'm hoping that nothing has gone wrong, which is embarrassing everybody. But I'm asking you, that you have done this much. Human life is precious. Let me find out what has happened in my country. Are they still breaking? I can't believe that they have run away from me at all. At no time these young people if they complain anything or say to me that Camino were not happy about that. We are not uh, in the position of money or we have work and so on, no, nothing. I was uh, the contrary, very much impressed by them. The way they were eager, they appeared to be people with ideas, and uh, they appeared to be very cooperative to me and so on. Yeah. Uh, are you, are you, okay. Yeah, so I'm saying to you very respectfully that uh, let us find out what has happened to us. Now, um, the other advocate I have is Lydia Chen. She's a neighbor to participate in the proceedings of the father. And uh, I'm just now about it. So I'm saying to you, but I would not say that my client is sitting or sitting there here without my knowing what has happened to the young people. If, of course, they are trying to accept me, they are no longer interested in the proceedings, then I'll go on. I'll go on with the bigger. I'll go on aggressively as a lawyer. But for the time being, I'm giving them benefits of doubt. Because I did not at any time suspect anything at all. Although, of course, they don't work in my office. But at no time did I become suspicious of anything at all. There's another lawyer called Asha, who might be not here. That one, I don't think I can read anything into what has happened. But she keeps on saying, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. But she doesn't arrive. Yeah, she doesn't arrive at all. And then, and then there is a uh, client himself whom I've spoken to a few minutes ago, and he said that it's only two weeks coming. And practice of law in this country and elsewhere, I've got problems, and uh, I've handled some of the problems, I've faced some of the problems. And uh, yeah, so I'm asking the group of members, I apologize to them sincerely, but then I'm here as a servant of law to defend the law, to defend the concept of the rule of law, to 
depends on the constitution of the earth. And above all, it depends on the human life which is provided for in our constitution. So what I'm saying, giving me opportunity to find out where they are, what has happened to them. Are they still around? And so on. We live in a, a world that is no longer produced by the predictable. Very, very unpredictable. Thank you. Thank you, Castle. I've had a share of this type of life in the past. Uh, so that uh, to some extent I'm not very much surprised. But uh, let me find out what has happened. I apologize to in other words, what I'm saying to you is not a lack of the matter. And let us not take it so. Recently I did a case in the Matthew Matthew Court. When a chap was charged with the, with the, the offense of terrorism, uh, a command chap. I represented him very effectively. He was acquitted. And uh, he then called me and told me, Camino, I don't want to be the prisoner. I want to continue to be the prisoner. I said, what? He said, no, Camino, I do not want to be the prison. Make an application for me to continue to be the prison. I asked him, what? He told me, Camino, those who are with me who have been released, they are no longer with us. I fear that if I leave prison, you will be here, they are no longer with us. I had to make an application to the chief magistrate and tell him that, look, I, I thank you very much for what you have done. You have acquitted my crime, but let him continue to be in prison. The chief magistrate told me that it was, I told him, my grand fear that if he comes out, he may not be announced at all. And if it is was true that those who had been charged and prosecuted and who had come out were just the fear. Nobody knew where they were at all. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So I'm saying that's not a lot of matter. And the let us not treat it as if it's a lot of matter or we're trying to avoid something at all and so on. This is the occasion when men and women, great men and great women, should rise up and show sympathy to others. Human life is important. Let us know what has happened to these young people. Very promising lawyers, I was impressed to be with them. I was giving a prayer here. Honorable Chair, do you have your permission to oh, no, 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 Just a minute. Uh, 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 first of all, we allow the seers to resume the seat. He has been standing for so long, and the council decided. Council, you can also sit. I do stand. Right, sir.